What's going on guys? So we're on our way to Yandy's house to help him out with his lift install. He got a Dobinson three inch lift um, with the Freedom Off-Road Upper Control Arm. He lives down south in southern Minnesota. So me and Cole are on our way and we brought our dogs along with us. We just stopped to gas up and uh, we did not drive the 4Runner today. We drove the RAV4. So, um, yeah, we'll be there in one hour and 30 minutes. Hey right, guys, we just got here to Yandy's house. What up, what up? So, Yandy. <laughs> you, oh, I thought you were my dog. <laughs> hey, Caroline. I'm gonna work on the 4Runner today. Well, we'll be installing some Hi. Freedom Off-Road upper control Hi. arms and a Dobinson lift. Three inch front, two inch back. I did a lot of research and Dobinson, I mean, it has just like all the reviews that people say about Dobinson. Right. And they have like so many spring rates and yeah, it's configurations. A, yeah. Right. It's a, a Australian company and yeah. Those so, Aussies so up there, they just, yeah, man. they just go crazy off road. So oh, yeah, if, you know they, you know they could take it. Yeah, you know we they could take it too. <laughs> yeah, you know they all know their stuff over there. Yeah. So yeah, this is Yanny's ride right here. Uh, 2017 Forerunner. 2018. Yep, uh, 2018 off road package. Yep. So what have you done with your Forerunner so far, Yandy? Well, you want to explain a little bit? Runner? Yeah, sure. Um, so we're going to start here in the front. We have the Tier D Pro front grille. That says Toyota on it. On it. And because it's just a regular SR5 or the mm -hmm. Tier D Off-Road, it'll come with the Toyota symbol on it. Right. So I went and got the Tier D Pro front. I don't know. I think it looks nice and yeah old school yeah do you not like the chrome then or what uh, <laughs> or no, not really <laughs> yeah. i don't like too much chrome yeah. Yeah. Like, like early yeah oh yeah oh yeah 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 that's true yeah and then and, uh, after that i painted the front of valentine black Rocky. Um, oh yep 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 i see that yeah i um painted the tier d uh Plate. Yep, and I see it as red. As well. yep, yep, black and red. Uh, and then I <laughs> added the red tier D inserts. Okay, okay, yep. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. Yeah, I like it. Close like up. it gives it like a nice touch to it. Yep. Yeah, and uh, I forgot the company's name right now, but it's the Raptor lights, right? Right, it's the Raptor lights from. Yoda LEDs, I think. Yep, Yoda LEDs. They're, they're very bright. I love them. Um, what well, is it? The Aminax Amber Fog Light Tent. Yep. <laughs> so these are the amber. Those are the amber ones, yeah. Yeah, looks nice. So we got the Freedom Upper Control Arms. Yep. Okay. I went with these, yes, okay. uh, just like the lift, you know, they're beefy, and they have some awesome reviews on them. Yeah, so they have, uh, they have the uh, built-in caster, right? Yeah. So um, is that the uh, uniball, or is that just a regular ball joint? This here's a regular ball joint, but the good thing about this company is that it's a lifetime warranty. Like if it breaks, or if like the boot cracks and I start taking the oil or whatever, right? I just get in touch with them and they'll be like, "Hey, I just have your new ball joint." Yeah, we're gonna start the off roading. Yeah, a heavier now. Yeah, you know, since the snow is to see if no. we can keep up with the, the jeeps. With jeeps. <laughs> yeah, because I mean jeeps, you could feel like. 37 inch tires and stock suspension. Right, yeah, yeah. That's like the only advantage that Jeeps have over yeah. the These are the medium duty ones for the rear. I believe that they will withstand. I think the guy I bought it from, he told me that they withstand from 150 to 
200 pounds. Oh wow. So it, like it's gonna be like a little rough, but yep. just a little bit stiffer to- uh, You don't drive a Cadillac, so right. <laughs> it's a truck. Yeah, it's a truck. Trucks are meant to be like rough. All right, so we're gonna, oh, oh yeah, they're the red ones. So yeah. Yeah, I think- And I opted to go with the red ones. They started doing the powder coated red ones a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I think. Right. And because the only ones they had were, I think, black or teal, which is like the, you know, like the most famous color for them, the teal ones. Yep. So then he told me that I could choose either black or red. Once he told me red, I was like, let's go with the red ones. Yeah. And it uh, looks like 15.26 kilograms. Yeah, they're kind of heavy. Very beefy. <laughs> Oh, here comes. This is my favorite part of all. <laughs> These are going to be, I'm guessing, the, the struts. Ones. So, I think this is the struts. Yeah. 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 Looks good, man. Three shots. And the good thing about the Dobinson is that here we have, you know, take home to the washers and the uh, bushings. bushings. Yep. And then they also send you an extra pair of washers and bushings. Oh, nice, nice. Just in case something happens to it. Right, just in case, you know, you install it wrong or one of the bushings crack on you. On you or something. Yeah. Man, these are freaking heavy, dude. And then these are the front ones? These are the front ones, yeah. Man, they look beefy, dude. These are the front ones, and I also have to, to go... Oh, yeah, with so the then... reassembled ones. Yeah, so these look like new top hats. Yeah. Um, they Yeah, they look very good. So, yeah, they can pre-assemble. I think they charge just a little bit extra, but, you know, they come pre-assembled for you, so... That thing is um, uh, like 160, right. but it comes pre-assembled with new top hats. Right, yeah. So, yeah. you know, you Because the top the hats by itself is like, what, you know, 60, 70 bucks yeah. already? So, yeah, you know, that's a pretty good deal, man, no lie. So, yeah, yeah man, I can't wait to have them on. You know, they look great. You know, these are the Dobinson. These are the Dobinson. Uh, medium coils um, with the Dobinson struts. Yep. So yeah, let's let's get to it. We just uh, disconnected the battery and and uh, the battery tray. Uh, the reason being is because. We are trying to access uh, this right here, which is the upper control arm bolt. We needed to take off the battery, uh, which sits right here, and then we are going to uh, take off this bolt right here, um, and then that should give us access to the um, upper control arm. What size is that bolt? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm gonna try a 13. I think it might be a 13. Oh, uh, actually, no, 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 that's not a 13, dude. That's a 10. All right, so we just got the upper control arm off. Um, here's the stock one. And uh, we're ready to- I'm gonna go grab the other one. Put on the new one. That's fucking huge. Yeah. So, the diameter of the new one is a lot more beefy um, in comparison to the stock one, for sure. Yeah. It looks uh, like about like half an inch bigger, maybe. Yep, and then it, it looks like it has more room here too to clear the uh, springs or the coils. So, yeah, it looks nice, man. Let's put it on. So, we just got the Dobinson on. Um, took a while. We had to first uh, take off the strut and the upper control arm. And then this is the new beefy Freedom Off-Road one. And then this is the uh, Dobinson strut. Uh, with the Dobinson medium coil and uh, 
So yeah, we just got that on for one side, and uh, next we're gonna be doing the next side. All right, guys. So we got a breaker bar with a 19 mil, right? But that's as far as she's gonna go inside there, cause this is in the way. But I came up with an idea. You get two 19 mil wrench or three quarters, right? And you just loop this end around this opening, right? And you're gonna just put it. And that is gonna act like a breaker bar. Yep. And we're just gonna... There you go, now it's working. It goes. Awesome, man, yeah. works just like a breaker bar. See that? Yep. And uh, this is using two 19 millimeter wrenches. Awesome. And then this here, we're also loosening up the long bolt for the upper control arm. And yeah, once you feel it that it's kind of loose, you just... Just, just use one wrench, just right? Use one. Once you feel that's loose, that's it. Awesome, man. All right, let's continue. All right, so we just got done with the upper control arm, and now we are going to put on the new Dobinson strut and shock. So what you're going to do is uh, feed it through the bottom, like what Yanni is doing now. Awesome. And then man it all the way on top. That's right. Just make sure you find the hole. Yep. All right, and then uh, just yep, put one or two on top. To, uh, just hold it in place. All right, so it is getting late, but we were able to put on the Dobinson shock, nice and beefy. And uh, we figured that uh, it was supposed to be washer, bushing, push it through the frame, and then washer, bushing, washer, and then the nut. Thanks for watching the Steejang channel. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. This is Yanny's wife's gift to him for his yeah. birthday, so. Yep. <laughs> Make him happy. I'm happy. <laughs> dude, yeah. Lift kit. Yay. Yeah, man. This looks An upper control arm. Yeah, dude. It looks wonderful, man. Wow.